Hi guys, this is Duncan from donksblog.com and today I'd like to start a new video feature series called Ask the Viewers. This allows me to pose a question out to you guys and get your responses in the form of comments or video and we'll talk about certain subjects, what you use, what you have, opinions on a news story, all different things like that and we'll get a community response to a question rather than just one person. So today's topic is Chrome extensions. I received a message from Agarezo07 that says, extensions, this video. Uh, this is the Google Reader shutting down video. And he says, hello friend, I could say the name of that used in Chrome extensions. I'm an addict and I wonder extensions which we have used you in some like. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for your question, Agarezo. I assume you're asking me what Chrome extensions I use based on the fact that you've seen these icons up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through them, tell you what I use, and while I'm doing this, if you're watching this video and you can comment, feel free to write what you're using for Chrome as I do this. So the first thing is this little icon here called Adblock Plus. I am not proud about using this, but it streamlines the internet a lot. I don't click on ads anyway, and if I want to support the person that's creating content, uh, I will do that in another way, such as donating and you know viewing their stuff, being the contributor, all different things like that. So. That is Adblock Plus. The next one is turn off the lights. This is useful in watching YouTube videos and cutting out all the extra crap that's around the uh, web page. I just want to watch the video and this dims it, very similar to like a cinema and when they all dim the lights and you watch the screen. This one here is uh, the Google Plus notifications. This is very similar to what you'll see on google.com and you'll see the little zero that says how many Google Plus things I can click it. And I can go straight to my notifications without having to visit Google all the time to see them. This is stylish. This is used to skin the web. As you see, I have YouTube black. This is done with the stylish theme. You'll see it's got the little one to indicate that I do have a skin active. Now I have the Google Mail Checker extension. This allows me to mark mail as red, delete it, spam it, all straight away from this icon. It's very simple. I can also just click through and go straight to my inbox. I can create things all from here, recheck it. It also provides me with notifications when I receive an email. I like to keep my inbox at zero, so I use this to uh, stay up to date with it. This is LastPass. So this allows me to store all my passwords. It also allows me to do things like credit card information and you can go and retrieve it from the LastPass website. It also generates secure passwords so you get random passwords each time. But obviously you have to rely on that service. It's a little bit strange on mobile that you have to get the premium account and get certain either bookmarklets or a, an application that's specifically designed like a LastPass browser. But that is LastPass, I highly recommend it. Uh, this one is clearly, this allows me to format a page that's full of rubbish like extra things like related stuff and ads and all that sort of stuff. It will do it very similar to readability on a mobile device in that it will just go straight to the article you're reading and put it in the center and make it a lot more readable. It works for a lot of things too, it's very nice. This one is Shareaholic. I've talked about this a while ago. This allows me to share the current page to various networks and also provides me with a short link to it and then all I need to do is click this and it's an instant way to get a short link to a certain thing that you're looking at uh, very quickly. You can post to your blog, you can post to Google Mail, there's so many services under this I highly recommend getting an account for it too. This next one is Pocket. I use Pocket on a daily basis to store things like articles that are really useful to me so for, for things like research or anything that you know will enhance my daily life that I want to either read again on my phone or read it on the computer it's very easy for me to do through this. And the next one is the Google Chrome to phone extension. This allows me to send the current link or if I'm looking at a picture or if I'm looking at um, if I'm on Google Maps and I've made a route, I can click that button and it will send it through to my Android device and open up the relevant application to deal with that. And the one that I haven't shown is this one, which is the RSS extension for Chrome. I'm really surprised that Google wants to move away from this. They removed it from the Chrome that you have to add with an extension, but it allows you to go into things like Feedly, Google Reader, just by clicking that button. So this pretty much covers what you saw. I don't have anything else other than shortcuts. So those are the ex active extensions I have. These are all my bookmarks that I have here. They go to various things I do online on a regular basis. And that pretty much covers it. So again, if you just watched this video and you can comment or make a video response, I'd love to know what Google Chrome extensions you guys use and why you use them. Uh, video responses are probably the best so we can actually see what they do if you want to demonstrate them. But 
feel free to do that and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.